Hey, what's up, guys? It's Jay. I bring guys back another video. And today, I just wanted to talk about the devil horn effect and the body game. I'm going to make a quick little video. And guys, we reached over 300 subscribers. I appreciate y'all. We really reached 300 subscribers. I appreciate that, man. I'm going to try to get 1,000. I'm going to try to push for that shit by the end of the year. Let's see where that go. You know what I mean? Hopefully, I'm speaking up into existence, God willing. You know what I'm saying? But I really appreciate y'all for the 300 subscribers. And we really getting there to 400 already. And I really appreciate y'all, for real. Thanks for running me up. I appreciate the support, always. But yeah. Um, the body game and the devil horn effect. So, the devil horn effect is pretty much um, when you're judged based on your looks. And people don't look at you as virtuous or people don't look at you as a good person because you may tend to look more unattractive, right? For example, if you have just like just like in TV shows, if you have a nerd and you have a jock, right? It's going to be two different things. You got the jock who's going to be looked at as that guy who's really cool, who's charismatic who's good with women, who, you know, tend to get all the girls, right? And then you got the nerd, who they're going to look at as, you know, more insecure. He's not that great with women. He doesn't know himself like that. He's just not overall, like, the best person to go to. And, you know, the body game can go into so many different things as far as characteristics and looks and height. Like, for example... Um, like if you look at some of these statistics with like the presidents and stuff, you can look it up. Um, like for example, like a presidential candidate, like the taller that they are, the tend they, they tend to be more quote unquote trustworthy. Or if you have a good looking face, good look, a better looking face than your candidates or a better looking face than your counterparts, you're easier on the eyes. So therefore people tend to get charmed by that. Right. And, you know, obviously we're getting into a dark subject bringing this up and it's a little bit controversial but just like you have serial killers like jeffrey dahmer and ted bundy and the nightcrawler you know all those three of those guys you know tend to you know look more handsome and more attractive than the average man so they had a way of words and they were more charismatic just like ted bundy when he was in the court i mean in the court trial even the judge was sickeningly kind of on his side you know what i'm saying he was saying like you could have been a whole better person if you weren't you know, pretty much doing the sick shit you was doing, which says a lot, and that's fucking crazy, because even after he had murdered and raped and slaughtered people, the judge still had hope for him, just because of the way he looked and the way he acted, which is fucking insane, but that just shows you how much a lot of this shit really matters, you know, me, myself, I tend to try to get away from the earthly things, you know, the worldly things, I don't try not to care too much about social media and what's really going on, you know, obviously, you know, when I make these videos, like, yes, I am talking about looks and I am talking about height and face. But, you know, I, I got want you guys to always remember that it's deeper than that. You know, it's about your soul and your heart and make sure your mental is OK and make sure you good and you putting your people on. Because, you know, you know, looks going to fade anyway and your body can fade. You can get injured and stuff. You know what I mean? But just take care of it the best that you can because we all blessed to have it. You know what I mean? Not everybody have it or you're not always going to get the chance to do the certain things with your body one day. You know, that's why I tend to push this so hard. And that's why I try to tend to push the mental and spiritual shit so hard, too. But, you know, with the devil horn effect is, you know, I'm pretty sure, like I said, you got plenty of testimonies on YouTube about how people have been treated differently. You know what I mean? And like I said, even on a professional level, it's uh, even even on a professional level, it'll change, you know, it'll change your life. You know, and we always and we of course, we know about the halo effect and we know how people tend to get treated better you know it's uh it's just like when i was a janitor i got treated very well you know and i'm gonna make a video about that because there's one guy on youtube you guys probably watch him too noto content he made a video about that and i want to respond to that video that's probably gonna be my next that's probably gonna be my next video and you know people tend to look at you way better and look at you as more intelligent and more attractive so i just want you to remember you know when you have these looks and you're working on your body you're always going to tend to you always gonna tend to uh my friend, I just saw my friend, but you always gonna tend to fucking, you know, be looked at and be, you know, be put in a position and put in a high position, you know, compared to everybody. 
you know, uh, my personality, I'm like I said, I tend to be more quiet and more reserved. So when you got this body and you got this face and these looks, people always like, you know, they try to put you in like that high category, like you're charismatic and you want to be in everybody's face all the time. And like I said, it throws people off, but it's also a good thing because you can be in yourself. You know what I mean? So, yeah, like I said, the devil horn effect and the halo effect is, you know, so it's, it's a real thing. And, you know, people, you know, a lot of people tend to get passes and a lot of people tend to get unnecessary, you know, trauma and unnecessary actions done toward them because of just the way they look. So, yeah, guys, remember, take care of your looks and I'm going to keep preaching the body game just like everybody on YouTube. Thank you.